I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some halal time together. Yeah, you can have fun if it's halal. Like what? Doing muta? Uh-huh. Marrying children? Uh-huh. Doing jihad against our neighbor if they have a blonde girls and they are not Muslims? Uh-huh. That's halal. <laughs> but uh, watching a movie is haram, brother. Haram? Unless it's, uh, unless it's made by ISIS. <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> as you see the, the title today, how Muslims use their logic to refute us. It's funny, actually, even to use the word logic. I mean, I'm, Abdul have a logic since when? The second you call him Abdul, he says, why well, you are being emotional? I just called you Abdul, you went crazy. I did not say anything. I just called you what your God called you. I'm not Abdul. I you. Well, don't look what you are. So a Muslim speak about logic. So it's a logic that shaitan sleep in your nose. It's logical. It's logical that shaitan, he rub himself around your penis, excuse my language. It's logical. So if you don't say a prayer, shaitan, he will be doing your wife. This is why she enjoy it. Yummy, yummy. Shaitan is doing it. Alhamdulillah. It's logical that there's a prophet. He did not know how to write, how to read, but he is going to teach us technology, brother. And if we put his name in the front of him and the word is donkey, he will not able to choose which one is his name. It's logical. It's logical, my friend, and let us go to the logic of the Muhammad and when they answer questions. You know, we made many videos and I left them still there. I did not delete them. <clears throat> and then you see some comments made by the Abdul. I, I will go over a few of them. Uh, owner of this channel died. I don't know why. <laughs> this is the name of the... <laughs> this is the name of his channel. The owner of this channel is, uh, died. I don't know why. Uh, what? Okay, the Christians only spread hate toward Islam. You are jealous of spreading Islam so quickly, my friend. We are we are so jealous of Islam spreading so quickly. Quickly, I have to admit. Research has shown that over one hundred thousand Muslims leave Islam every single year. It is going to become an avalanche. Twenty-four percent of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. A tsunami. Yo, your child is going to become an apostate. Your child is going to be a apostate. What is that? What do you have in your hole, man? So the Abdul who said to us, you are zealous because Islam is spreading so fast? Ah, you got the answer from the Muslims. Next. <clears throat> Let us take the second Abdul. This is another level of Abdul. This is about the video we made. Uh, how Allah created Adam. No Muslim can answer. And until well, we are waiting for the answer. And look, look at the answer. <laughs> look at this. Mr. Fadhan Al Majid. I don't know what uh, Fadhan, Fadhan. Okay, Fadhan, Fadhan, whatever your dad call you, you must be the one. Whenever I argue with intellectuals, I always win. 
man you must be the one we are looking for what about you give me a call and you win mr weenie weenie but strangely if i argue with the stupid people lose helplessly ah see he's quoting uh, imam shafi'i man if you argue with the stupid people you lose so now anytime you lose you must be lost because he's stupid look at the taqiyya <laughs> Is that why you lose the war with Israel? Because they are stupid? Hmm? Here you remind me of a story. If you go to the yellow pages of Muhammad, and we see the story about Al Hudhud. Oh, I'm typing in English, sorry. Al Hudhud. When Ibn Abbas he said, confirming what Muhammad said, confirming what Allah said, confirming what Potato Tomato said, that Al Hudhud, his specialty is to find things nobody can see. As an example, he can find even water under the ground. So a Muslim he said to Ibn Abbas, So how come then? And I can show you the reference, by the way. Actually, let us see if we can find it in English. Chapter 27, verse number 20. By the way, I wasn't planning to come, but I looked. We are almost 20,000. So because you guys did a great job to, to, to get more people to view, I decided to come today and give you what you deserve. So thank you very much for making a lot of posts, ma making comment, etc. All right. This is why I came even before the 20,000 completed because it's almost there. So thank you very much for being truthful people. So chapter 27, verse number 20. Let us go there. <clears throat> and here you will notice when the Muslim, they speak about logic. I don't know where logic, where the logic go, you know? Read carefully. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. It says, And he reviewed the birds to see the hoopoe, which would locate water beneath the ground and indicate its location. Okay, let us go to different interpretation because there's a story behind this. Uh, well, it's not in English here. Let us see. Yeah, it's not uh, in, in English, but we can find it. Hold on. So anyway, the man he asked uh, uh, asked Ibn Abbas. He said to him, "Well, if if Al Hudhud is the one who can find things nobody can see under the ground, how come if we put some seeds and we cover it uh, uh, with a trap and we cover the trap with some dust?" that we can capture the hudhud. You see, a smart Muslim, he asked the question, do you know what Ibn Abbas, he said to him? He said, if you say that a time again, I will curse you. And if I don't fear that people, they will be say that Ibn Abbas was defeated in a debate, I will do so and so. Can you believe it? So the, the guy, he asked question, okay, if this is an, a bird can see the water under the ground, how come we put some seeds with a trap and we cover the trap with dust and then he come to the seed and he eat it and we capture him. So the bird who can see meters down the ground, he cannot see a trap. <laughs> Do you see the stupidity of this religion? And the second, the Muhammadan, he decided to think and he asked a serious question. Right away, they start cursing him for asking a question they cannot answer.
They cannot answer. And now the Muslims, they made an article about this bird and what this bird can do and blah, blah, blah. And scientists, they say it. Always scientists, they say it. Always. But everybody knows this bird can be captured like any bird. You know, you put some seed, but a trap. If he can see under the ground, he can see. And then they know what this what the what the what the uh, 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 what he said. Actually, let me show you Tafsir al Baghawi. Tafsir al Baghawi. Maybe we can find it. Yeah, actually, you know what? We should find it Ibn Kathir. Hold on, let me open Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir in English. Are we having a good time, guys? I hope so. And don't forget to take notes if you are a person seeking knowledge, not just to sit here, you know, and uh, uh, waste your time. We want people to learn. And remember one thing, power is, you know, power is knowledge and knowledge is power, right? The Lord, he wants to empower you with knowledge and knowledge of decency, not the knowledge of evil. Here you will see, here we go, the story we found in English. Let me so, let me share the link with you. Or maybe, I don't know, uh, when I click at the link here, it says Tafsir Ibn Kathir. It doesn't show like, uh, let me see if I copy it. If that will make, or will generate a link. Yeah, you see there, it says only Tafsir. So you have to go yourself, click in the right, in the left side, you will see the chapter, chapter 27. And then you have to go and you click at the verses, which is 20. Here you will see, and then you will come to this page because it's not generating a special link for the page here, as you see when I post. Ibn Abbas told the similar story among the people was a man from Al Khawarij. You see, Al Khawarij, right away they call him that he, they, you know, they are bad. Al Khawarij is supposed to present bad people. Who names was Nafi ibn Az Azraq, Al Azraq, who often used to raise objection to Ibn Abbas. This guy is a smart Abdul, he's not a stupid. He said to him, Stop! Like this is what the Christian prince do. Like stop! Are you sure? <laughs> I wish we have a video camera at that time. So Ibn Abbas is brabbling, blah 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 about the amazing Quran and the wisdom of the Prophet. And then the guy he said to him, "Stop! Just right there. You will be defeated." Listen carefully. The guy he made a challenge between two brackets in argument. Today, Ibn Abbas said, why? Nafi said, are you telling us that the hoopu can see water beneath the ground, but any boy can put seed in a trap and cover the trap with dirt and the hoopu will, will come and will take the seed so the boy can catch him in the trap? <laughs> Then look at the answer of the Muslim Sheikh. This is the cousin of Muhammad himself, and he is the one chosen by Muhammad to explain Islam, by the way. Ibn Abbas said, if it was not for the fact that this man would go and tell others that he had defeated Ibn Abbas in argument, I would not even answer. Did you answer? Let us see the answer. Then he said to Nafi, who you who decree strike a person, his eyes became blind and he will lose all cushion. Like, what is the answer? <laughs> the guy, he's like, what the heck? The guy gets scared. He said, okay, okay, okay. Enough. He said, by Allah, I will never dispute with you again. <laughs> Did you know? How the how how the sheikh he react? This is the biggest sheikh in the history of Islam. This is the cousin of Muhammad himself. He did not refute him. He could not answer him, and actually he admit he is he is defeated. Look what he said. If it's not, if it was not, for the fact that this man would go and tell others that he had defeated you stupid he did not yet you you you, over, you, you even wrote the story in the book so everybody knows now laughing at you. 
He is afraid that this guy will go around and tell people what happened. For if not, if it was not the fact that this man would go and tell others, but you obviously you are stupid. You are the one who's telling others now what happened. I mean, do you see the stupidity? He is afraid that this guy will go and tell that he was defeated in argument, but now he is telling the story to the people. And then Muhammad and he come to us and he say Islam is religion of logic. If you don't enter the bathroom with your left foot, shaitan will play with your anus. A Muslim logic, a Muhammadan logic, a, pro a prophet logic. The hood is a bird who can see water and he can see women. This is why he sent him this bird. He was looking for a woman who have no hair in her legs. Because he can see behind the skirt. I want to hire this bird. Anyone have a bird like that? You know, I'm looking for women who have no hair in their legs. Look like in the time of Suleiman, women, they used to be like gorilla. It was very rare to find a woman she don't have hair in her legs. So the bird, he wanted to help the king. So he decided to go and use his special skills of seeing what is behind. He have like an x-ray eyes, you know, my friend, if you have this bird at your home and your wife, she is not naked. He see her naked. I'm telling you. Proving scientifically, certain, certain, scientifically. And then you find a Muslim coming to us and speak. If I speak to a shallow person, a silly person, a stupid person, I will lose the argument. Well, obviously, the silly person is your scholars, your prophet, and the one who debated them, he got them busted with a small logic. He says, well, a kid, a kid can put some seed in a trap and he captured this little bird. But the stupid Muhammad, you know, the Muhammad, he copied whatever the, law, the, the the Jewish legions have. All those stories from the Jewish, you know, stories. The Jewish have tons of stories for their kids and even some of them for the adult, but they are stupid too. Muhammad, he is convinced that this guy was a minister because he looked like a Roman general. Look at him. I mean, come on. He is made to be a general. Look at this. In the Roman army. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Amar Rabbi Amar. <laughs> Even this guy, he is part of the Quran. I mean, how silly this God is. And then Abdul, he is coming to school us about logic. And he is talking about who is smart and who is stupid. And supposedly he is the smart one. And now let us go to the answer he want to give us. Is he going to give us an answer? He says, no, it's, you see, he says, if you want to understand, go and learn some Arabic and some grammar. Look, what is the answer, Abdul? If you want to understand, um, you must first study the Arabic language and the grammar correctly and don't chop the verses and find error. Still, there is no question. There is no answer. And my, you know, the funny, they speak to an Arab person who is born in Arab country, grow all his life in an Arab, an Arab country, and then they say to him, "Go study Arabic. You don't know Arabic. You need to know Arabic." So why you don't say that to someone from Indonesia? Why you don't say that to someone from the that he don't speak a single Arabic word? In order to understand the Quran, you need to study Arabic. You know? <laughs> And then the hypocrite, he starts speaking about not to insult. I mean, the Quran, the Quran, a book of hatred, kill the Christians, chapter 9, verse 29. Take their women, take their children, take their money, force them to pay jizya with humiliation. Calling people kuffar, they are the worst of the creatures, worse than animals, worse than cow, worse than, than cattle. Calling them najis, which means filthy, dirty, nothing can wash you. And then this Abdul speak about respect. Hypocrite like your prophet, potato. Next. Here we have a person, I assume that he is not really a Muslim. Or maybe he is. 
you know he called himself Kevin White but he have a picture of Allah word in Arabic next to him but it doesn't make sense what he say because later he insult Mary and he say she is was not a good woman so mostly this guy is a is a Jew and a cover eh, no problem you believe in a human sacrifice and believe in a blood magic and Jesus was nothing but a prophet and the Torah says God is not a man Kevin White Today, I'm going to change your color. I will make you blue from a spanking. First of all, you idiot. If you are a Muslim, isn't it Allah he asked Abraham to do sacrifice and you Muslims celebrate? Two occasions, all of them about sacrificing. <coughs> if you are a Jew, you idiot. Don't the Jews they sacrifice too and they have a day for sacrifice? Don't you agree that Abraham, he sacrificed and God, he gave him sacrifice? You don't believe in blood magic. And the Torah says God is not a man. You are a liar. The Torah says God is not a man who lie. But the Torah says that God, he came to Abraham as a man. Next. Uh, let us see the next fool between the Abdul. Uh, well, this is the same guy, let's see. Uh, yeah. Here you see, this is the same Abdul. Maybe he's a Jew, I don't care. Islam is unlike Christianity, does not teach that God uh, was born of a woman <laughs> and he was fed by sucking blood from the womb of the, this woman and for nine months and the blood which had... Uh, a quality of a prostitute. See this filthy creature. Obviously, this is not a Muslim. He is mostly a Jew, uh, because the Muslim believe that Mary she was a virgin. But here you see how some the, those cowards they don't dare to say who they are, and they use the name of a Muslim to to cover themselves. Uh, when somebody try to let us say, uh, explain an issue saying how God can be in a womb of a woman. Well, if God is holy, can he get dirty? Ask yourself a very simple question. If God is holy, can something unholy make the holy not holy no more? No. Because holiness happens only because of the extreme power to overcome any element. So anyone who have a little logic, who speak about God, and obviously this guy, he believe in God. As an example, if he is a Jew, when God, he came to Abraham in the flesh of a man, flesh of a man is not holy. It's a flesh of a man. Right? Did God lose his holiness? Actually, we can go even farther. God created the earth and the heaven. God created the universe. God, he come down to this earth. Are you saying by entering the earth, which is the womb of the space, he got to be unholy? So for sure you are a very silly, stupid person. If we put the sun, if we you know, if we look at the sun, if we put a, have a dirty water, have a lot of uh, stinky stuff, etc., and we we put that container of water under the sun, what the sun will do? The sun will kill all the dirt. Is that correct, people? The sun will kill all the bacteria, all the germs, and will clear the water. And we are just comparing the sun from far away. So imagine if the sun gets close to the water, the water will just disappear right away and all germs will, will be demolished and gone. That's it. And this is just the sun. So what about God? So the review of God is just to try to put God down. It's an insult to their own God before they are insulting our God. Because your logic speaks against you, you are just a fool. Obviously, you do not know who is God yet. 
if we go to the stupid Quran, the book of the devil Muhammad, who is trying to copy stories from the Bible. I want Christians to learn how to refute the Abdul. This is the purpose of everything, everything I do. I want to show the Muslims how stupid the religion. And at the same time, I don't want to leave the Christians. They don't know what to answer. Because, you know, we, we understand each one of us have a gift, right? Maybe if some of you have a nice voice. He can sing. Some of you have a good art. Some of you, he, have, he play uh, an instrument. So God, he gave us gifts. And I'm using the gift which God gave me to explain to you. If we go in the Quran, we will find in chapter 20, verse number 12. This is the funny Muhammad stealing the story from the Old Testament about Moses seeing God in the bushes. But look what the Quran says. The Quran says that when Moses came to the fire, He was called Ya Musa, which in O Moses. Verily, I am your Lord. So take off your shoes. You are in a sacred valley ground. I mean, translation here is very funny. Have you ever heard of a translation? He used the same Arabic words. I mean, how in the world, Abdul, he will understand now what Tawa mean? What is that, man? I mean, what is this? Either you are a stupid translator who do not know what the word means, so you keep it there because I have no idea what to do. I mean, who is this translator? Let's see. Hilali and Khan. Change to different Abdul. What the heck with those people? Why, why, why you keep Arabic words there? Potatoes. Tomatoes. So, this guy is using the same word too. We change the translator. You don't want to translate the word Tawa. Because they didn't know what it mean. Like, what the heck? This is the second translator. Let us see this uh, third translator. Like, what? Nobody translating the word Tawa. Like, what the heck? The fourth translator. Sarwar. Like, what? Even Sarwar did not translate the word. Like, okay, okay, how Abdul now is reading this? He will know what this mean. Fifth translator, Big Tal. Like what? <laughs> Unbelievable. And this is how the Quran became so clear. Brother, we translate and we keep the Arabic words because Allah knows best what he, what he mean by, by that. <laughs> you see, the stupid, they have, you should say that this valley, which is holy, this place, this location is holy. But those idiots obviously do not know what they are talking about. So they keep it as it is. Let us see a different translator. They don't translate it. They don't know what it's because they don't know what it means. Um, let us see. We will keep trying. Uh, yeah, I think what happened, they think that this is the name of the valley, right? Uh, but this is not really the name of the valley. The valley of Tawa. No, you see, you are in the holy ma uh, uh, valley, Tua. Where we can find this valley, Tua, Muslims. So they think that this word, obviously, this is an Aramaic word. They think that this word is a name, the same as in the Quran, when the Quran say. That the father of uh, Abraham, <clears throat> his name is Azar. Because they didn't know what the word mean, they thought this is the name. Uh, 
All right. When the Muhammadan, they face a new word, which is not really part of their dictionary, because this is not an Arabic word. Muhammad, obviously, he is using his learning from, from he has two Aramaic slaves, and even this is reference, even the Quran speak about them. When the Quran says that this is a Quran, have no croak in the language, and those they speak with a croak in Arabic. So, when Abraham said to his father, Azar, what the Muslim nowadays think, and Muhammad he think himself, that Azar was the name. But Azar was, in, in the ancient Aramaic, a word mean foolish. So Abraham, he said to his father, foolish. Do you take idols for gods? That makes sense, right? Foolish. There's no way that Abraham, he said to his father, why you want to say to his father, Azar, how many father he have? Right? So this is not a name. This is a word mean foolish. And the foolish Muhammad, he thought it's a name. Same here. They don't know what this word means because obviously this is from, coming from different language. And they don't know uh, uh, what the word mean. And they come to the conclusion this is, must be uh, the name of, uh, uh, of the valley. All right? And actually, I think even Ibn Kathir... Um, yeah yeah but you notice here that the muslims when they try to uh, uh, to find a solution for a word in the quran they don't find it from their prophet like did muhammad says that tawa is a word mean the name of the valley tawa <inaudible> You don't say that in Arabic. You put the name. You say Al Wadi Al Muqaddas, the Holy Valley Tawa. Obviously, the word have more meaning than a name. But anyway, the point is when a Muslim Muhammadan he say that Jesus was inside his mother womb. And that make him supposedly not God. Why? Because simply he is in the womb, and the womb have a blood. But here we find that the Muslims claiming what is something mentioned previously in the Bible, that the ground where God is speaking is holy. But this is a ground, dirt. We call it dirt because it's a dirt. It's a holy ground. Why it is holy ground? Because God is there. And God is ordering Musa to take off his shoes. Why? Because this is a holy ground. So what happened when God he present in a place, that place will turn into holy. Not only God is holy, So did we learn, guys, how we refute the Mohammedan about Jesus being in the womb of Mary? Anyone took reference? This is in their Quran. That's why I say always to you, don't use your logic to defeat their logic. Use their logic. They are stupid. They are literally stupid. They don't know their religion. God... Exactly. You see, here we have a person who speak Aramaic. He says Tawa in Aramaic mean Tahir. Tawana in Aramaic mean Tahir, which mean holy. This is what I'm saying. So those idiots, because they are stealing words from different religion, from different books, they didn't know what those books saying and they try later to find a solution for those words and they come they say okay this must be the name of the valley nah, garbage in garbage out but the important for us now that 
just because God, if you ask the Muslims, was God in the tree? They will say his voice only. If his voice only was there, and then the ground became holy, what about Jesus in the womb? Are you getting my point? This is how easy you can get their claim busted. So I hope people take a note. So later when they speak to you about this issue, you spank them with no mercy from their stupid book. And not only that, uh, the Quran speak about a holy tree. A holy tree? Yes, brother. In chapter 24, Chapter 24, verse number 35, Allah himself, he speak about himself first as, as if he is a tree, literally. As if he is a tree. From a blessed tree. So Allah is the light of the world. And he is the same as a lamp enclosed in a glass, in a glass where in a brilliant star, light from blessed tree. Then we go to different verse in the Quran. <clears throat> in chapter 28, verse number 30, it says, But when he came to the fire, a voice was heard from the right bank of the valley, from a tree in a Hollywood ground. Do you see it? Do you see it? So everything there became Hollywood ground. Hollywood ground, sorry if I'm saying the word wrong. Why? Just because the voice of Allah or Allah is there. Here you see the hypocrisy when the Muslim tried to insult Jesus saying, well, Jesus was in the womb, how he can be God. Well, your God now is in the tree and a tree is the same as a womb. No different. It's one of the creation of God. Correct? Tree where birds they go and bird they do poo poo and monkeys they jump and rabbit they you know and the squirrel they go. So uh, why it is holy? Simply, obviously, when God is there, everything is holy. Everything become pure. Right? And here Muhammad is trying to copy the story from the Bible. Remember that always Muhammad he is a thief. He copy a story and he don't know what to say. We continue with the comments next. We take another Abdul. Yeah, actually, here this is the same guy. He is insulting Jesus, so forget about him. Uh, let us see more Abdul. If there is any Abdul would like to call me, I can open, uh, you know, sky for you, and I will take you for a snack. Here we have a Muslim. His name is X Mill. Saying the following: Jesus is not God. Wake up, mate. You are people who are lost. Hmm. Exmail, why you don't call me, my friend, and tell me why Jesus is not God? If we read your yellow pages, we will see that Jesus, he can create from the mother bird. I know, I know. You will say to me, by the will of Allah, prove it. Prove it. If Jesus can do that by the will of Allah, will Muhammad should be able to do that by the will of Allah too? Right? I can now say, well, Jesus was able to do his miracle because of my help. Ah, talk is cheap. But by agreeing that Jesus can create from the mother bird, you agree that Jesus is a creator. You like it or not, he have the ability of a creation. And let us say for the sake of argument, that Jesus is not God, but now he can create like God. So now we have two creators. What's wrong with your God? Why your God giving the most important power he have to Jesus? What he's trying to prove. Secondly, is the power of a creation 
can be transformed from one to another? If yes, well, that's mean. Uh, without like, you know, Adam and Eve, they are male, female, they have a sperm, there is an egg, there is, you know, process, you know, to re reproduce. But now we are talking about just a person, his name is Jesus, or Isa in the Quran, which is a funny name. We don't know where the name coming from. I, I know, actually, I, I believe that Muhammad the fool, he heard that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, she have a son, his name, his name is Esau. But this is not really in the Bible. According to the Bible, Mary, Maryam, she did not have children. And uh, Muhammad, obviously, he is listening to the traditions or the, the rumors of the Jews about Maryam. No, she have a son. His name is Esau. So he thought, this is Maryam. This is Esau. He is the nephew of Aaron. This is why he says, Mary, the sister of Aaron in the Quran. But the same person, Muhammad, who say things always does not make sense. When Jesus, he can create. That means Jesus is not like anyone anymore. He's a creator. Now he is in the stage of being a creator. Chapter 3, verse 49. Chapter 5, verse 110. Both of them, they confirm that Jesus create from the mud a bird and the funny is when the Muslim try to translate they don't give really an any accurate translation actually this translation here is more better than the rest it says here uh, and appoint to him between two bracket a messenger from the children of Israel. I have to come to you. This is now Isa talking. I have come to you with a sign from your of your Lord. In that I make for you. You know, you see how it is a sign from the Lord. And then he says, I make out for you of a clay, as if it were a figure of a bird, and I breathe into it. And it become a bird by Allah leave. Who is the one who do the breathing? Jesus. How Allah, he, 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 uh, he gave Adam a soul? He breathed. He breathed. Well, this is the question we asked before. Do Allah breathe? Until now, no Muslim answer. When Allah, he says, I breathe, into her vagina from our soul, our spirit. What does that mean? Any Muslim there to explain? They don't dare. They have no idea what to say. Because if you ask them, who is this spirit? They say Jibreel. So Allah, he created Adam from Jibreel? Allah, he breathed Jibreel. And then Allah, he breathed Jibreel inside Adam? This is how we stupid this religion. They don't know what they are saying. And now he's the same. We have Jesus, supposedly, he breathed into the mud, and the mud, after he fashioned it in the look of a bird, became a bird, living bird. So right now we speak, as we speak, there's birds flying in the sky made by Jesus. Glory to him. In your Quran. And then if you say to me that this is done by the leave of Allah, prove it. Secondly, by his leave or not, still Jesus can do it. You know, when I was a kid, I used to take the car. I was a troublemaker when I was a kid. So I used to take the car, and before I leave, I put like, you know, this, uh, the, the chalk you use for the school. I put marks for the tires, and then I go and drive the car, you know, like the family are asleep, and I drive, 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 and I go back before they wake up, and then I put it exactly where it was, you know, and then I take the mark off. Yeah, but not by the leave of my uh, family, I was driving the car. But I can drive the car. So here Jesus, he can resurrect people from death. He can create from the mud the bird. By the leave of Allah or not, who care? Here we go. Did Allah make me, do Allah have the leave for me now to speak about him? The Muslim, they will say yes.
By Allah leave. Prove it. We go to the Quran, chapter 13, which is in the end of the Quran, by the way. It's called 13 today because the Muslim, they changed the location of the chapters. We find it still the people asking Muhammad, how come you don't have a sign? So Allah gave a leave to Jesus. He didn't want to give leave to Muhammad, and this is his favorite prophet. I mean, what is left? If you look with me in this verse, you will see Jesus, he can resurrect people from death. By Allah leave, brother. Who, what does that mean? Look at this. Jesus is a, is a, is a miracle machine. Jesus breathe. The breathe become a bird. Jesus can heal the blind who is born blind. He can heal the leper. He can quicken the dead. And he can tell you even what you hide in your houses. What is left? And none of those Muhammad has. One of you sent me a message saying that David Wood said that Muhammad, he have a son, he died, and he was three years old. I you know for me, I believe Muhammad never have a children. He was a potent man, a potent man. However, David Wood, he say what Muslims, they say to him, they say he have a son. But I believe never have a son. But however, Muhammad he cried because his son died. Why Muhammad did not resurrect, resurrect him as Jesus? Do you know, by Allah leave. Did Allah kill the son of Muhammad? According to Islam, yes. Why? Why you want to do that? Why you give him a son? Why you kill his son? So Islam is a religion out of logic. A bunch of fool trying to make a, out of their full of prophet a smart guy this is why they say uh, uh, you know like uh, Christians have no logic uh, and we have logic and the second we question the Quran we find that the logic is a stupid in the Quran and I mean name one thing for me Jesus did not do I mean even his birth is a miracle this person before even come to earth he's a miracle he was the word of God in the sky, the Quran say. Sent down to Mary, the Quran says. So he was a word. He became a flesh. This is a chapter one of the book of John, verse number one and verse 14. The word was God and the word became a flesh. Muhammad the fool is copying the book of John. And this is why even the Muslim, they call Muhammad himself, he called Jesus, Kalimatullah wa Ruhahu. Kalimatullah wa Ruhahu. He is the word of Allah and he is his spirit. Jesus. So while Jesus was making the blind see that dead come from the grave, he can create from the from the mother bird, you know, he became a, 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 a like a miracle, a, a walking, talking miracle of God. Muhammad was busy going after Aisha to sport with her in a filthy way. I'm going to open my Skype for a short time. God knows when Christian Prince short time, what does that mean? I hope not five hours. To see if there is any Abdul, he is willing to call us and tell us why Muslims cannot answer. We showed you that Muhammad described Islam as a serpent, as a satanic snake. It's going to go back to its hole. Will you get upset from me for what? I'm just saying what your prophet said. One of the funny things about the Muhammadan, They read what we say every day. They never get upset. The second we read for them what it says there, they get upset. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call me? Please text me. And we will have, have you live with us.
anyone and don't send me those silly messages in Skype saying to me are you CP do we have any Mohammedan maybe maybe anyone and by the way I noticed that the admins they are not approving messages which is not appearing uh, please admins check the, the like the message does not appear I don't know how many admin we have I think we have only one today because I see many messages are not coming and obviously we don't have enough uh, admins to to approve we need to find more admins I guess we have only one here let us see maybe we have uh, somebody do we have any Muslim wanna call us nobody any Muslim Any Muslim hero? Anyone? Any Abdul? So when the Muslims speak about logic, about what God can be and what God cannot be, like there's actually a comment, of, one of the comments says, it's not fit for God to be a man. It's not fit for God to have a son. It looked like the Muslims is the one who decide what fit to God, what not does not fit. But I understand they are just copying, copying the stupid Quran. But if we ask ourselves, When Allah, he says, it's not fit for Allah to have a son. Isn't it, this is silly? By saying that, it's not fit to Allah to have a son. That means, the second Allah have a son that will not make him a God correct because it's not fit but this is mean that this God his duty or let us say his uh, his place as God can be removed he can lose the authority because there's something befitting and something not befitting. Is it fit for Allah that he is created from the sweat of horses? As the Muslim they say in their books, that Allah, he created the horse and then he made the horse run and the horse sweat. And then Allah, he created himself from the sweat of the horse. Let us find the reference. <laughs> and for sure, the Muslim they will say we don't agree with this. This is your scholars. Your scholars. And if it is wrong or not, how in the world Muslims they think about it for a second even? that there's a God who created the horse and then he made the horse run and then he created himself from the sweat of the horse. What is that? How far your intelligence go?
And the funny, what is written in their books for centuries, the Muslim now they are making videos denying it. <laughs> but let us think about it for a second. If we ask the Muslims, Allah who is not born and he never gave birth, then he say, if we want to take a son or a wife, we will take it from us. How he is not born, how he don't have a son, how he don't have a wife, yet he says, if we want to take a wife, we will take it from us. Look at the first translation, it says nearest to us, no, there is no nearest, it says from us. Change the translator. But anyway, even if you leave it nearest to us, still the same garbage. If Allah want to take a wife, Allah decide this wife will be from who? From us. So Allah did not give birth, Allah don't have a children's, and now it's not fit for Allah to have a son, yet he says such a stupid phrase because I thought it's not fit. How in one hand you say it's not fit for Allah to have a son and we do not know why it's not fit? Any Muslim knows why it's not fit? What is the problem exactly? Is it fit for Allah to have a hand? Is it fit for Allah to have a shin? <laughs> to, ha to have an ass? <laughs> so now the sun is the problem? And the funny is, you know, the Quran, because it's a stupid book, keep providing us with a stupid statement from Muhammad claiming that this God he always say things they don't make sense and they are opposing each other in one verse in the Quran in chapter of Mary Allah, he says, it is not to Allah to have a son. If he wants something, he say B is going to be. And then we check in the Quran, we find not a single thing was created by B. Secondly, you idiot. If Allah want to have a son, and he want to say B is going to be, he can have a son by saying B, my son. <laughs> I mean, what does that mean? Who care about how he will have a son? Look at this stupidity. Allah don't have a son. If Allah he want to have a son, he say B is going to be. Okay, hold on. Did Allah say to Adam B and he was? No. And why they are adding in translation here Jesus and well. You see how they fabricate in translation? This is not in the verse. The verse says, Ma kana lillahi an min waladin subhanahu qada. It's not fit for Allah. It's not benefit for Allah to have a son. If he decides something, he say B is going to be. There's no Jesus here. The verse before I speak about Isa. But look how stupid this statement is. If Allah, he said, B it going to be. Well, he can say, be my son. The logic itself is against itself. Can't Allah, if he is the almighty, as you must claim, Say, be my son. He left as a dummy, never came back as a horse. Uh, you know, left as a donkey, came back as a horse. No way. We have a Mohammedan trying to call. Hello. Yes, my friend, you're live on air. Yes, uh, Christian Prince, right? 
Yes, you are. Uh, are you a Muslim? Yes, I'm a Muslim. Can you say, I the, believe sh I can you say the Shahada, the Pagan Shahada? And, uh, listen, I believe I spoke to you the other day. Yes. I don't now know, I also I don't believe. <clears throat> okay. Now I also believe that you probably viewed my video. Now, before I like to you debate, have a, you, with you have you, videos. Yes, I've made a video because you have made a mistake. And I tried to tell you that day on your Skype call, you made a very big mistake. Okay. When you applied, okay, let me remind you, when you reply, when you applied be aiding to mm. hands, mm. it clearly does not mean hands. Mm. Now, mm. if you look at that word, now, if you can, if you can admit you've made a mistake, I will debate you on another topic. So that's the reason I've called you. Okay, I have a video made by your your friend, uh, for, uh, Fifi, and he said in the video that this is mean hands. Do you want me to play it for you? Okay, but that doesn't mean hands. Though. No, it's okay, mean hands, uh, according to him, according to him, it's mean hands. So are you saying that he making a mistake and he have to admit that he made a mistake? Uh, you're, you're saying Fareed says that it yeah, means hands? I can, I can play the video right now for you. He was debating a Muslim sheikh. And he said to him, you cannot say to us, we are making, uh, we are kuffar because we say Allah have hands. The verse says Allah have hands. Okay, um, are you applying the verse 51? My friend, don't tell me the, which, which yeah. verse. You said to me, no, no, because... hands. you said to me, it does not mean hands. And you said to me that this is a mistake and I have to admit it's a mistake. So now we have a proof. I can show you not only, I mean, this guy is a kid. I can show you big shakes with long beard saying it's mean hands. So who are you to correct me? Yeah, yeah. Hello. I'm asking you, who are you to correct yeah. me? Are you qualified to correct me? I am. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a linguist and I can correct you on No, you can't Arabic. correct me. Are you correcting yeah, I can correct you. No, you can't. You uh, cannot. Because, uh, uh, because simply, what yeah. the word aid, what the word aiden mean? Be, as as be aiden. No, 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 no. Because we're looking at the word be aiden, mm. which means with strength, brother. It doesn't no, nowhere, mean nowhere. The word it doesn't, it doesn't mean that. Okay, hold on. Look. Okay, hold look, on. Look, hold on. Hold on. Look, hold on. Look, okay, look, look, look. You can transform okay, look, look, your videos. Look, look, look. Well, look, look, look I, I want look, you. I want you to look. hear something. I want you to hear something. All right. This yeah. is verse fifty-one forty-seven. No be aiden. Okay. So yeah, uh, do, means... Allah, do Allah have hands first or not? Does Allah have hands? Oh, you know, we already spoke about this. I did no, say yes. No, you're not. I, 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 I have yeah. hands? I said yes, yeah. Okay, so what, what's your problem? Uh, what's your problem? Yeah, but that... I don't have a problem. I'm saying to you... <laughs> I'm saying to you, you are the one with the problem because you seem to think it's hands and you're saying, listen, okay, you said you also... Okay, wait, 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 okay. wait, 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 please, uh, please, yeah? You, you said also to hmm. me on that day, there's no one... On the translation, it says hands. Now, if you go to uh, Quran Arabic corpus, there's a few translations that says hands there. So your argument was not necessary. If you understand what I'm trying, you said that you said that why doesn't the translator use hands? But when you look at the other translations, apart from the one that you look at, it does say hands as well. But I don't apply that one mm. from a from a morphological point of view. What is it doesn't that? come out has. So it's why, the, why the you, other translator? You are the one just saying now to me that there's yeah, a translator going. saying yeah. uh, by hands. Why are other Muslims saying by hands? If it's there's only hands. there's only one translation that I've seen that has used the words hands. Okay. Now the majority of them don't use hands because it doesn't imply as hands. Okay, uh, uh, let us go yeah. to the language first. Uh, when we we say be aiden, yeah. Where so is, where is the word strength in the word? Okay, aiden mm. in the hands where dictionary aid, not uh, aid, I, not aid, be aiden. No, 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 because it's broken down into two parts. The mm. B is used, uh, is, 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 is a preposition that's used. So the B in Arabic is, mm. is used as a preposition, mm. and the indefinite noun is a plural, which okay. is a majrur. Okay, okay. so that so, so the triliteral roots, the, the hamza, the ya, and the dal. Mm. When it's when the segments form together, the B and the Aidin, so the Aidin, so the aid means strength. If you actually look at the, the, the words in the in a dictionary called Hanswe dictionary, mm -hmm. so when you join them, the prefix preposition B and the genitive plural indefinite no, no, noun, the first of yeah. all, your, your grammar yeah. is a is a shish kebab. 
When no, 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 no. It's not. When this is the proper the Arabic the grammar. The letter B, yeah. B mean by. B mean by. By or with. It's two. Okay. By or with. Exactly. With. Yeah. yeah. So you are, you yeah, just, with strength. You, you just beat. You just beat your, you know. Okay. What is the word after it? Aiden. So. Aiden. Okay. Aiden is yet in his hands. Aiden is strength because no, wait, my dictionary. It's hands. It's strength. It's, it's hands. strength, brother. It's hands. Okay, look. Okay, oh, okay, look. Okay, look. My videos there. You look at it. <laughs> I know Once you agree to it, no, 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 no. It's okay. there oh, because no, you're wrong. Okay, okay. Oh, you are wrong. So, so, you are wrong. Oh, oh, focus yeah? with me. Focus with me. You're wrong. Okay, so, oh, focus oh, with me. So you uh, you agree that Allah have hands, correct? Yeah, I don't like to use it, but yes, you, you know. Okay. You know, I've, but you I've already answered this question. You agreed yeah. Allah have hands, correct? All right. So now. You are saying that the word be aid in here does not mean hands, it means strength, correct? Because it's constructed in a different way. Yes, it means okay. with strength. I, I will go yeah. with you. So, did Allah build the sky by his hands or not? It, uh, are, you, are you referring to the same verse 51 47? Doesn't matter. I'm asking you how yeah. Allah he built. Is there a verse that says anything in I'm regards to this? You, because Abid, I, you see, yeah. you are the one who have knowledge supposedly, yeah. and you are afraid yeah. to answer that Allah He built everything by His hand. Okay, so because the the reason I'm asking you is there a verse? But don't ask me. I'm asking you. Yeah. I'm asking you. You are the Muslim supposedly who is correcting me, correct? The one who can correct. Yeah. You do not need me to explain to him more. The question is very simple. Did yeah. Allah so, did Allah create and yeah. build by His hand? Yeah. What is your understanding on this? I have my own it's understanding. It's your understanding. And... You tell me. I'm asking you what you're understanding. You're afraid to tell me, obviously. What is your okay, understanding? The, you as a Muslim. If, if you're referring to this verse, it means with the strength. I'm asking you without any yeah. verse now. I'm asking you as okay. a Muslim. Okay. Did Allah, he built the earth and the heaven. Did he use his hands? Did he use his hands? He could have used his hands if he wanted to. That's another question. Sorry, sorry. That's another question. Don't tell me he could. Don't yeah. tell me maybe. This is not yeah. the answer. Either you say, okay. Either you okay, CP, you know what? CP, you know what? I think your microphone is going bad again, and um, uh, um, I'm gonna have to cut because your 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 voice is getting distorted. Because uh, I don't know if you remember last. Me, I hear you very well. I don't know. Let's see. No, no, no. Tr trust okay. me, it's your microphone. All right. Okay. Let me call you. Let me call you back. Okay. Give me a second. Let me see if. It's okay. No, no. Listen, listen. I'm gonna call you another day because I actually no, have to no, do no, something. No, I just, no, I just no, want. No, to tell no, you this no, point. No, I'm not running no. away. Okay. Give me I'm the gonna call you back. I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna call you back. Listen, listen. You can stay for 30 seconds more, please. Okay. Go on. Thirty seconds more. Yeah. Okay. Can you sort your microphone out, though? I can't hear a word you're saying because your microphone is you very bad. Can you call me back. You can hear me. Okay, I will call him back. No, this microphone. She's coming. It is. Yes. All right. Is the microphone good now? I hope so. I mean, this microphone is really new. We thought it's fixed. Okay. Hello. All right. Do you hear me now? Yeah. So you agree it's your microphone, yeah? Okay. So well, I don't know because I can't. I don't hear myself really. But anyway, you say what you say. So, did Allah build the sky and no, the earth? No, I don't say. Your, 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 I mean, your viewers can tell as well. It's your microphone. It's not okay, me. No problem. So, so yeah. is it, okay. uh, did Allah build the sky and the earth and the heaven, whatever he built, by his hand? Yes or no? Okay. The the the, the, the It says with strength. Now, I don't know what your argument here is. Uh, this is another question. Why are you avoiding the question? Yeah. Okay. With, with strength. I'm this asking one. you. I'm asking you. Yeah. Did yeah. Allah use his hand to build the sky as an example or the earth? I I, I, I use it with strength, so I don't imply the word hands. So it. you are saying to me that you as a Muslim you don't believe Allah he used his hands? No, no, no. I'm not I'm I'm not saying he 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 can't have used his hands. I'm saying if he wanted to, he could have used his hands. That's not a problem. But in this one, I'm gonna stick with it means strength. So Okay, uh, let us yeah. make it simple. When you say that this is mean strength. This is according yeah. to whom? This is according to the Arabic uh, morphology, right? You understand what that means, isn't it? Mm. The morphology, ilmusarf, yeah. Okay. 
المصرف 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 You, you claim that you know Arabic and you speak Arabic, but you don't know how to say the word. Say the word to me, please. Be mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And what? So the B. What the the second so the word B. you said? Il uh, musarf. Uh, what musarf? What's that mean? Il musarf. That means morphology. So speak to me in Arabic. You don't speak Arabic, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah. So, so, so. No, you don't so, speak Arabic, you know, right? You don't. No, speak no, Arabic. no, no. Listen. No, no, listen, no, 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 no. You didn't speak yes. Arabic. No, no, no. You are, you are <laughs> listen, teaching listen. me. You are teaching me about Arabic. I'm teaching you. Exactly. Okay. I'm teaching you speak, basic okay, because you don't know me, Arabic. Speak to me in Arabic. Speak to me in Arabic. Speak to me in Arabic. Explain to me yourself in Arabic for, for two minutes. Go ahead. What do you want me to say to you in Arabic? Say to me what you are wa. saying to me. Say to me what you are saying to me. You want me to say to you what I was saying to you. Okay, yeah, so I'm talking Arabic, about it. But in Arabic. So, in Arabic. Say the same, okay. but in Arabic. Uh, Okay, well, what's the matter? You are reciting the verse. This is, this is something yeah, memorized. Yeah. I'm asking you to say to me the meaning of it in Arabic. The same you said to me in English about the grammar, etc. Say it to me in Arabic. The what? what the, the one way says with what, how did we. You are the person the who called with, me with, to, to tell me about the, the, the grammar and how the Arabic work, and yet you do not speak Arabic, obviously. I'm telling you I speak Arabic and I'm Don't correcting speak to me your in Arabic, mistake man. here. Okay, then speak to me in Arabic. Go ahead. Okay. I'll, you want me to tell you the verse? What's the matter? Not the verse. The verse, uh, you, you are, first the verse, you what, have it. You have it in front of you. So listen, 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 you are a liar. Okay. Be, so first of all, you are a liar. You don't speak Arabic. Speak to me in Arabic. Don't be speak to me in Arabic. Be Aiden is with strength. Don't for me the verse. You are a potato. You are a Be Aiden is strength. This is, what, is strength. This is the word. Be Aiden is strength. No, 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 but no, listen. Speak to no, me in listen. Arabic. No, 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 Speak listen. Speak to me in Arabic. You are busted. Listen you to are me. a liar. You are Be a fraud. Be Aiden. Why you don't admit I don't, you know Arabic? Listen, no, no, you're busted. Okay, then, You're busted because then, you can't even say subscribe. Me, listen, 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 listen. You can't say subscribe. The same thing you said to me in The same thing you said to me in English, please. Let us speak as like adult. Can you say it to me all of it in Arabic? Don't read for me the verse. Any Muslim can read it because you have translation, whatever they call it. You, you, you okay, use, no. Why you, you see? Use why are you running away? Well, no, 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 no. Why so are you running you, away from what is a fact? I'm, well, okay, I'm look, not. Look, I ask look, you, look, 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 The word. And now, the word, and now you are exposed. You do not know no, Arabic, no, no. and you are calling me to teach me what the Arabic <laughs> word means. I'm teaching you Arabic, and I'm going to teach you Arabic. Then, the Quran okay, Arabic. I'm going to put for you. I'm going to put for you on the screen. I will put for you on the screen. Hold on. I will put for you on the screen some Arabic text, and I will ask you to read it. Is that fair? Why is that fair when you cannot even know this word? Well, I don't we, understand. We, we will see who knows, who don't. I want you to read no. this for me. It's in the screen. Go ahead. No, read. if you no, th this is no, my you, argument so, with you. So you, you correct so your do you mistake. Ad, do you admit you, that you no, do no, not? No, no, I don't do admit. admit. I will speak to you in Arabic. Do you do? I will admit. speak to you in Arabic. Okay, no, you read, read. I want to read. Listen, as long as you are a person who can read, and you speak. At least read. Listen. La 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 listen. But la, la, but la, yeah. this guy is no no listen now. Listen, listen, I listen. challenge you to speak to me only for sixty I seconds in Arabic. You, I challenge, I challenge you, you, otherwise you if have you to admit your mistake. If you I'm admit your mistake, you, I will, will have a the verse. We will go to the verse. Everybody will laugh at you. If you I, admit I your mistake, I am the one who asks you. I am the one who you. Admit you. Your, no, I you am are the wrong. one who asks you. You are wrong. Do Allah you are wrong. His hands. You refuse to answer. You are wrong. It's so, with strength. You, you don't know liar. Arabic. You are a liar. You, you don't, don't know Arabic. Arabic. First of all, admit you know Arabic. You don't know Arabic, and you want to teach me Arabic. Well, I am going to speak to me in Arabic. Okay. I'm going to speak to you in Arabic. You answer me. You don't know Arabic. I'm going to speak to you in Arabic. You answer me. You don't even know which language. You don't, don't even know with strength. You don't know with strength. You don't know with strength. Fix, fix your mistake. Fix your mistake. So do you, and I will did you, did you know, do you know what I said? Do fix you know, your first mistake. Do you know what I just said? Fix your first mistake. Do you know what I just said? Fix said? your mistake first. See, fix you your mistake. This, you this is not how it works. You Everybody fix your mistake. You. You, you admit your mistake. So you do not you know. Fix it. You have to prove it. He hang up the coward. So he did not speak a single Arabic word. Can you believe it? And he is calling me to teach me about the Arabic grammar. <laughs> he didn't know a single Arabic word. And he did not agree. I mean, at least speak Arabic and agree or not. Secondly, 
When the Abdul they say, Allah he built by a power. So why Allah have hands anyway? I mean, isn't it stupid that this God he have hands but he don't want to use them? <laughs> uh, if we go to the Quran I feel sorry really for the Muslims you know he built it with power he built it with power he built it with power you know okay uh, he built it with power, but did he use his hands? If he not, why those hands are there? And why he is using the aid, the aiding? If we go, and he himself, he said, there's one translation saying the word hands. So it is your side as a Muslim, agree with me then. If only one or two, it doesn't matter. Why you Muslim in translation, they say hands, if it's not hands. If we go and search, let us do this, just to show you how those Abdul, the cowards, who they lie claiming that they know the language, but in fact, they know nothing about the language. Okay, Abdul, potato, those are your sheikhs from Saudi Arabia. Watch and laugh at yourself. And shame on you to claim that you know language, you do not speak one word of it. Hang up, you coward. Everything will be perished except Allah Azza wa Jal. And here Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to himself by saying that his face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala will not perish he is the first without a beginning and he's the last without an ending Azza wa Jal. he's the creator of the all uh, uh, right. what you see and what you do not see and he's not created and he does not die and he does not have an ending subhanahu wa ta'ala okay. so Allah described in the Quran that he has a face Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis Satan and he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? Guys, how Allah created Adam with his two hands. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? If Allah, he can create without hands, why he use his hands? Especially now he fashioned Adam with mud. Allah putting his hands in the mud. Did you hear it? How Allah created Adam? He created Adam by his two hands. But if we go in the Quran, we will find beside that verse that Allah, he fashioned mud. That means Allah, he used his hands to create a, something simple. So to create something simple like Adam, he need to use his hands. So how he can create the universe without using his hands? If Allah can create Adam by saying be and he is going to be, well, he will not put his hand in the dirt. None of us like to put our hands in the dirt, do we? So this coward, he claimed that he speak Arabic. We got him busted. This is what I should do from the beginning. Ask him to speak to me in Arabic. And he starts saying things doesn't make sense. Shish kebab grammar. But because it's an embarrassment that this God, he cannot do anything without using his hands. He, don't, he cannot say, be, and he was. Did he create Adam by saying, you know, be, and he was? No. We just heard this Abdul in the, in the TV, and this is a sheikh. This is not like you, potato, from Pakistan, who cannot speak two Arabic words. Allah created Adam by his hands. So a simple creature like Adam needed the hands of Allah. Allah, he put his hands in the dirt to create him. How Allah then he created the universe? By power. 
Or what is the power? Why Allah have hands then? Why he used them? Prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands. Why Allah have two hands? What about having one hand? The funny about the Muhammadan, they say that Islam is not like any religion and Allah is not a man. And then we find Allah have a face. Allah have an ass. Allah have two hands. Allah have five fingers in every, in every hand. Allah have a shin. Allah have two eyes. <laughs> what is left? If he is not a man, is he an ant? Maybe an elephant. Don't answer. Let me block you then. Next, who is a brave Muslim? So obviously, Allah cannot create anything, it's a joke. Allah created Adam by his two hands, Allah took him. Uh, uh, He's trying to copy the, the God of the, the Bible. But when he copied, he made himself look like a fool because he contradict himself. When we ask the Muslims, what is the first thing Allah he created? There's a video of Didat making fun of the Bible, saying that God of the Christians in the Bible, he created the sun in the fourth day. Fourth day, brother, sister, fourth day, fourth day, there's no sun. But the Bible says the first God he created said, let be light and light was. This is the God. Let be light. He did not use his hands to create light. He did not use his hands to create the earth. Your God does. In the same time, when the Muslim, they made fun of the Bible about the sun created in the fourth day or in Wednesday, We find that Muhammad copied that. And this is exactly what he said. This is why people like the, that they can flourish in the front of the Muslims when they debate people who they are ignorant about the cult of Muhammad. This is Muhammad. And this is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. This is not Shish Kebab. Anyway, it's a Shish Kebab for me. Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the clay on Saturday. And then he created the mountains in Sunday, and he created the trees in Monday, and he created the, th the things in time and labor in Tuesday. And he created the light in Wednesday. This is what Didat was making fun of. The video of Didat is there. So Didat, he was making fun actually of his God. Not only this, the God of, of Islam do not even know which one he created first. Shall we call this Pakistani again? The one who speak uh, Arabic? Just for fun. <laughs> The person whom you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Uh -huh. Please leave a message after the beep. Okay. Potato. <laughs> this is my message to you. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Anyone who send me comment in Skype and not he's, he's not a Muslim to debate me, I will block you right away. Don't be silly. Skype is only for Muslims to contact with me.
I'm sure you will be proud with your family when you hear a Christian prince going to potato in the left message. So how Allah created the earth and the earth and the heaven and Adam? Be, be hand, by hands. Two hands. Not only, you know, one hand. In different verse in the Quran, the Jews, they were making fun of the God of Islam, which is, this is a this is verse I want people to memorize or remember. When the Muslim, they say that the Jews worship the same God. The Jews and the Christian, they worship the same God, right? That's what they said, Muslims say to us. This is a chapter 5, verse number 64. You will see the Jews are making fun of Allah. If the Jews and the Christian, they worship the same God, there's no way that the Jews will make fun of the God who they worship. And here there is a Shia, web, uh, 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 Shia video. Allah has two hands, literal. Exposing, ex, uh, uh, nawasib, uh, uh, exposing Nawasib defense. This is what they call the Sunnah. And in this video, you will see uh, Muslim kid, kids, supposedly they are known in YouTube. They are explaining why. Allah have hands. So Allah have hands and Allah he used them. But in reality, chapter 5 verse number 64, it shows that Allah hands are not functioning. It's a fiction. Fiction God, fiction hands. Because why the Jews are saying to Muhammad, your, your God Allah, his hands is tied up because he cannot do anything. They ask him, okay, if you are a prophet, do what prophet do, do you have miracles? No, do you, what do you have then? Hmm. <clears throat> Let us see, maybe we have Abdul. Hello. Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Hello. Yes, CP. How are you? I'm, I'm a fine. Muslim. You are a Muslim? Huh? Yeah, I'm you, Muslim. By the grace Muslim. of Allah, I'm Muslim. Okay, by the grace of Allah. What does the grace of Allah mean? Grace of Allah, it means uh, his bounties are upon me. <laughs> he has been... Uh... Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, hello, I hear hello. you. I hear you. Focus with me. So what is the yeah. grace of Allah? Grace of the, Allah. The grace, grace of Allah or the grace of Allah? The grace of Allah. Okay, what is that? By the grace of Allah, I am Muslim. What is how how we can see the grace of Allah? Grace of Allah, because I've been uh, I've been gifted by the iman. What iman do? Iman belief. Okay, so do you believe? believe so do you believe that Allah? Islam, have, so do you believe, believe? Okay, so do you believe that Allah have two hands? Yes, of course. Why so he has to differentiate? Why, okay, why Allah he have? Why Allah others. have two hands? Why he have two hands? See, this is a, a noble cause in which you cannot see you are thinking and everything is limited. We cannot get into the divine cause. Uh, Somewhere so if I, have two, to if I have two hands that make me divine and you cannot think about it. Yeah, of course. Well, I, I have two hands too. So limited, I am divine too. Our, I, our, I have, our way I have, of thinking. I have two uh, hands. I have our two hands too. Listen. Our intuitions and everything are limited. Yeah, I, I have two hands. And I'm divine then. Yeah. Why it's I up have... to you if you are you want to if you want to think the way it's up to you. You think. Okay. If, but the problem. Uh, what, what, is the is proof, that, what is the proof? What is the proof that Allah? Of your things, my friend. Okay, you are thinking. You are, there are there are many other there are many things uh, which are uh, not convincible. 
to a, anybody in islam but mm. it doesn't mean that you will uh, completely reject that there is nothing good in islam okay well, there, there is something good in islam like what of course everything is good in islam like what like what like what he who protects one life has uh, would uh, pro protect the whole world this, this is, is what this our is, quran this is says this is not in islam this is from the torah and even the quran says so okay from the, from the book of abrahamic religions no you are stealing it from the torah if you kill one human as if you killed all mankind and this was an order given yes. to moses secondly did your prophet kill humans no somehow brother there are many uh, things uh, even if you go if you are aware of uh, asking you, prophet you, prophet, that you just say generosity it. you just say it you just say it, the one who killed a man as if he killed all mankind okay this is was yeah. something was given to the Jews. Muhammad is copying, is quoting what the what the Torah says. So it was he ordained said, for the children of Israel. It was ordained for the children of Israel. Sir, sir, that there is you, something in good in good. You know, did, there is nothing did called Muhammad copying kill, and pasting. Did Muhammad kill? Did Muhammad kill people? Yeah, he killed. Okay, he killed but for you just to, to establish me, peace. But you just said to me, he, uh, how you establish you, the you peace? Establish peace killed. by killing people. Yeah, of course. Okay, Bar, we will go to Pakistan tomorrow, and we are going to uh, the American. They are going to nuke Pakistan, so we can establish. No, no. If it's called, see, 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 blood uh, for blood. You know, if, they, if there is a bloodshed, hmm. bloodshed is going uh, around you. Hmm. You should, uh, you should constrain to have uh, violence against it to stop uh, to in order to establish the peace. Peace treaty. Okay. But Muhammad, he ordered to kill people who never fought with him. He sent a letter to the king of, of the Romans saying, convert or die. Yeah. He did not fight yes, him. No, no, no. He don't live in his city. Uh, that He's far are away. Contradicting hadith. You, you, are, you are talking about contradicting hadith, which are very weak. This is not a contradicting hadith. This is Quran. Quran, it means the interpretation which you have interpreted may, might it's be wrong. It's not my interpretation. It's who's, your interpretation. Who's, who's, Secondly, who's I'm interpreting? not talking a bit, I'm not. even about. I'm not talking even about interpretation. Let me ask you: Is it okay for you as a Muslim to kill a Muslim kid? Why would I kill? I will not kill anybody. Neither uh, Muslim, the, the, neither okay, Jew, no problem, nor Christian. This is, not, this is not the question. This is not the question. Is it okay for a Muslim to kill a Muslim kid? No, not at all. Not at all. So if somebody he killed, if somebody killed a kid and he is a Muslim kid, uh, what, then uh, what would he he would be punishable. He would be punishable. Is he going to go to hell? Of course. Uh, of so, course. So why Al Khadr he killed a Muslim kid? Sir, Al Khadr has killed Muslim kid. I agree, but what the problem I, is that from agree? where what, where what, hold on, hold on. What, what do you mean I agree? What what do you mean I agree? Al Khadr, he is a prophet of Allah, teaching Musa how to kill children. So this is a chapter 18, verse number 74. It says, "You said if somebody kill a child, he should be kill, should be, should be punished." So what kind of God? His name is Allah. He opened a school to teach people how to kill children. Sir, it is not there in Quran. You it's might have Quran. Uh, misinterpreted it. It is in the but Quran. Are going it is in the, the Quran. Lexical. Stop playing. Uh, listen, don't make it's, me call you potato. Oh, I'm preserving this title no. for, for a smarter one. So you listen, chapter 18, problem, chapter 18, verse number 74. I want you to read it for me. Nice. Yeah, okay, sir. The problem is that uh, you need to go through that lexical uh, because the Arabic lexical, lexical, listen, lexical, is very, lexical yes. Mr. Lexical, you are the Muslim and you explain to me, you are my lexical now. You are lexical, you are the exact like in. Okay, so now chapter 18, verse number 74 Al Khadr and Musa, Musa, he was sent by Allah to learn from Al Khadr, and now Al Khadr is teaching him how to kill children. Al Khadr, what uh, you need to go through the meaning of that. Is it a, a noun? Is it an adjective? What actually it is going to add? See, if you are taking it through the nouns perspective, the meaning might be different. I'm not good at Arabic, but I am telling you, the Maya, you must go through this uh, verbal verbal translation word to word. What verbal? Will, what for verbal? sure, it will mislead you. For, for sure, it will mislead you. So for okay. that, you need to go through a good imam or who is very good in Arabic, who wow. has very good... Uh, uh, so, rich, so, rich so you do not know. Rich. So you do not know what to answer, right? No, no, no. I am not saying. Yeah, yeah. I know. I don't know how to answer. But whatever, whatever the. Okay, answer me then. Why Allah? Why Allah is opening a school to kill childrens? 
and he is teaching Moses how it is good to kill children. No, 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 it won't be good. It won't then be read that. Read the verse and explain I, the verse. Read the verse, then read the, the, then read the verse and explain it. Go ahead. Okay, okay. I would read I would read it. Can I have the verse? Let me let me open the verse. Oh, open the verse. Anthony, open the verse. Let me answer Abdul. I don't know the admin, he, he hide his text. I don't know why. You should not do that, admin, please. Here we have Mr. Negla Mu'min, he says. Uh, you keep uh, bringing up the story of Al Khadr, and we already refuted this point before. You, I think you mean he, your God also teaches to kill innocent children, even women. So look what happened now. This Abdul, this Abdul in the chat, by saying also he admitted that his God ordered to kill children and women. Thank you very much. This is number one. Also, this is your words, not my words. Let's highlight it. All right. So from now on, you Muslims stop lying, saying that the God of the Bible ordered to kill children and women. But just to show you how silly you are, Negla Mumin. The God of Bible, shut the up, God of Bible. Shut up, shut up, no, shut up. No, no, I'm not talking no, to you, Abdul. Abdul, is Abdul, Abdul. Shut up. I thought he's reading the verse now. Look, here, this is a Muslim child, and his family are not even in war with you, and his family are Muslims, and this child did not commit any sin, he is not even the sons of the enemies. If you go in the Bible, you will see that the people of Israel, when the enemy, they come, they slaughter their women, they slaughter their children. And I can show you that even from your stupid books. Hold on, Abdul, hold on. Hold on, I will call you back. Don't call yet. According to your books, there's a person, his name is Shaul. The enemy, they come and they killed every single person of the Jews except this person, Shaul. They killed the women, they killed the children. Everybody. So why the Jews will not kill everybody in return? But what we see in the Quran, and by the way, when I say something, I show reference. Don't call me yet, Abdul. Hold on. Hold your horses. Negla, Mumin. Negla is the name of a female, but I see a picture of a male. I don't know. I challenge you to tell me if your books is telling true stories about the Jews being slaughtered and not even a single one except one person was exist. And this is why, and this from your books. And this is why the Jews, they attack back from your books, not from the interpretation of the Christians. This is number one. Number two, why in the world you want to kill a Muslim child? He commit no sin. He was just a kid playing in the ground. He was what? He was just a kid playing in the playground. He commit no sin. He killed nobody. He attacked nobody. He was playing with other kids. According to what logic? According to who? He's a Muslim. He's a son of a families of believers. 
yet you killed him before he commit any sin and actually even the verse says that the verse said that you killed a person who commit no sin did you read the verse hello did you read the verse hello 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 yeah did you did you read the ah, verse yes. did you read the verse yeah i did read the verse okay so why, that he, why, that... he, why he killed him no no not at all he didn't kill but the problem is with the interpretation of that Kadra, if you really go through the suffix and prefix and nouns whatever that you are getting Kadra, it means that the blessings of allah which has been uh, bestowed upon the kid but what uh, katl. What, what? it doesn't mean katl. it doesn't mean that killing just get get out of here stupid i have no time for donkeys katla does not mean killing where do those people come to me from not only he killed him he smashed his head in the wall and he slot his head with a knife but now before we go and show how he killed him look at this smart abdul what he said this abdul in skype i just blocked him i have no time for kids talk Katla does not mean killing. Yeah, this means what? Kissing. Stupid. The boy was fated to cause a trouble. The, the what? What? The boy was fated to cause trouble. So Allah, he made a fate that this boy will cause a trouble and now we kill him before he do the trouble? <laughs> So based on this, we should kill Allah because who is the one who fated the boy to do so? It was Allah. The Muslim believe in fate. They believe that Allah, he wrote a destiny for you. So look at this stupid religion. Allah decided that this boy will do be troublemaker. He was fated. This is your words, not my words. So Allah, he made a destiny that the boy will do trouble. Okay. And now we kill the boy. Should we should kill Allah? Because it's not the fault of the boy, it is the fault of the one who fated him. And when you say, your book says the same, which funny, show me, where it says the same. Secondly, shouldn't you commit a crime before you punish for the crime? And based on this, just to show you that Muhammad is a fraud and he is mentally ill, he is copying a legion, have nothing to do with Islam about a guy his name is Al Khadr. He drunk from the fountain of youth. If every child he should commit bad things in the future should be killed when he's a child, then why Allah don't kill them all? Why only this boy? Do you see the stupidity? Do you see really the stupidity? So now I can go in the street. And I say, God, he told me, this boy will do a troublemaker when he grow up. Uh, let me kill him. The Muslim believe that Allah is the one who wrote your fate. So now this child really is an innocent child. Not only he did not commit sin yet, even if he commits sin, it's not his sin. It was the filthy Allah who fated him as you claim in your text. This is why Islam is satanic. Those this religion believe that if a person he do wrong, he was doing it because Allah decided for him to do it. So according to Islam right now, I am live on YouTube saying what I am saying because Allah he did put in my destiny to open YouTube today and he spanked Muhammad. Can you believe that's such a stupid religion? And as long a person who was fated to do trouble, why you want to punish him for something he fated for? What is his guilt? When we say Islam is a stupid, we mean it. And we prove it. It is the most stupid cult ever. So guys, look, look, look at this, look at this. The, the more the, the Muhammadan try to fix the, the stupidity, the more they get themselves in trouble. Look what he just said now. 
Christian Prince. Why you don't call me Nagla? Call me, call me so we can laugh. Nagla Mu'min Sayyid. You don't get it. The situation present here was made as a trial. So are you saying to me that your God Allah, he brought a child to the laboratory to test Musa's by killing the child as if he's a mice? People, can you believe it? And they say to us, the merciful Allah. So Allah wanted to teach Musa's a trial to who? To Moses. Allah needed a child to kill in the process. So he can teach Musa something. <laughs> can you believe it? Can you believe how stupid this religion is? So Nagla Mormon, if Allah he took your child now and he gave him to Moses to teach him, you will be happy. And your child commit no sin. And then you say to me, presented here was made as a trial. The problem arises when you take it verses out of context. Here we go. You put it in the context. So the context now that Allah wanted to teach Musa something. So what we do, we kill children. This is your context now. I'm using it. What kind of religion this religion is? What's wrong with those Abdul? Uh, Abdul from India, he called me, he says the word Qatala does not mean kill. Like what the heck? Does not mean kill, so it's mean kissing? Chapter 18, verse number 74, let's see the, the translation. The funny is, the one who is today calling me, all of them, they are Indian, who do not speak Arabic, and they are teaching us what the Arabic words mean. The first one and the second one. And even in their translation says killed, he killed, killed, killed. The Abdul from India says, uh, first of all, Christian Prince, the word killed did not mean killed. It means to be kissed. What the heck? Let us go to the interpretation 74. Does not mean kill. Really? Are you Thor? Abdul are the most cute ever. I love Abduls. Look at this. Does not mean kill. That's why I, you know, I hang up on him. I blocked him too. I'm not going to waste my time with this stupidity. So they set off after leaving the ship, making their way in foot. Enter when they meet a boy. He's just a boy who had not reached the property playing with other boys among whom there's faces is a fearest well, we chose a person by the fearest al khadr slew him by slitting his throat with a knife while he lay down or by tearing his head off with his hands or by smashing his head against the wall abdul the one from india who's telling me this is not killing obviously the guy is still alive this is not killing. This is not killing. I mean, the guy, he smashed his head against the wall, tearing his head, slaughter, slowing him by a knife, tearing his head off. And it's still the boy, according to the guy from India who called me, this is not killing. The guy is still alive until now. He's not hurt yet. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, South Park, South Park. Uh, uh, no, you know that God say he does not know any. Uh, let me see where his comment. Hold on. Where is his comment? Is OK. You know that God, he does not know any Uternitarian deceiving snake. Isaiah 44, 8. Mm. Ah, you know what you are South Park you are the cartoon I watch I don't watch this cartoon actually but look like you are a cartoon too 
uh, you know when a person he says that I am a person who going to refute you by uh, you know you, you have a Turritanian God you believe in Trinity and then he go and he quote for us a verse from the Bible and they says I want to show you Isaiah specifically Isaiah and he go to a specific verse but he will not accept to read the whole chapter do you know why because he's a potato he is a potato because Isaiah himself he speak about God and his spirit Isaiah himself he speak about God who is the Messiah who will be called God so you know Isaiah when you want but you don't know Isaiah when you want because you're a potato aren't you do we have any brave Abdul <clears throat> anyone Let us see the comments in, uh, I mean, the, the see in Skype if we get anything. Yeah. If we go to Isaiah, actually, as long as we are talking about Isaiah, just to, to shut up this idiot. You go to Isaiah 7, you will see Isaiah speaking about the birth of Jesus and how this birth or this born person he is going to be called God God Almighty but as usual don't know those people they want from Isaiah only one verse they don't want the rest of the verses we Christians we believe that God is one so Isaiah did not contradict us we agree with him in everything. God is one. God is not four. God is not five. God is not even three gods. God is one. Trinity does not mean three gods. Only for the fool mean three gods. If we go in Isaiah 4, we will find the following. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and he shall be called his name Emmanuel. This is Isaiah. His name is what? God is with us. That is the name of Jesus. God is with us. So as long as you like Isaiah, Isaiah shut you up and you are a potato. Who is next? Do we have anyone like to be the next victim of his stupidity? Anyone? We have Hamza saying, we send down to you the Quran and thus whom who previously gave his scriptures believe in it. Uh, Abdul, Hamza, first of, first of all, excuse me, I want you to prove to me that the Quran sent down. Is that fair, guys? I want you first to prove to me that the Quran was really sent down, not written down in the lap of Khadija. <laughs> Do you have any proof that the Quran was sent down? And this is not a book written in the lap of Khadija. What is the proof? I challenge all the Muhammadan here to give me any proof that the Quran was sent down. Any Abdul? Any Abdul?
What is the proof that the Quran was sent down? I will show you the proof. The Quran must be sent down from an idiot because the Quran says that there is a guy, his name is Allah. He created the man from a sperm and the sperm became a congealed blood. That is a teaching of an idiot. Who dare to say I'm wrong? So when you say to me, this is a book sent down, well, sent down from, from an idiot. And this idiot, his name is Muhammad. And the proof in the front of your eyes. You have to be mentally suffering from something to believe that nutfa, which is a semen, become a congealed dead blood. I want you to go right now and search all the books of science and tell me which one he says that the sperm is the one who became anything because the sperm does not become anything. It was the egg. The sperm goes and deliver the DNA and activate the egg. That's all. And then after that, the sperm is gone, is demolished, will not be transformed to anything. It is the egg who will develop itself and will become you know, more cells, etc. And the DNA which is given to the egg from the man, that will, 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 uh, 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 will develop too. According to your stupid Quran, the semen of the man is the one who will become a blood. According to who? How somebody, he claimed to be God, he says such a stupid thing. Somebody saying how illiterate man deceives so many people. He did not deceive really, he won by war. If you go and you see that even the hadith says that the ones who they follow Muhammad, they are Sa'alik. In Arab history, we have something called Sa'alik. Sa'alik is the outlaw. And they are criminals who they, their families, they wash their hands from them. Which means if you kill one of them, their tribes will not seek revenge. They are Sa'alik. So, like you do something horrible, your father will wash his hand from your blood. He will say, this son is not my son no more. He's a Su'luk. And the Muslims in the time of Muhammad, they are Sa'alik. Look what he said to him. Abshiru ya ma'ashara Sa'alik. The Muslims, they translated Sa'alik as poor. The fact Sa'alik have nothing to do with poor. Abshiru ya ma'ashara Sa'alik. Criminals. Sa'alikum <laughs> Muhammad. So who is a Muslim can call us and suppose it today I'm not going to stay along with you and I will not open sky for long. So who is a Muhammad and I will take one more call. Who is a Muhammad and he can call us and prove to us in any way, any mean that the Quran is really sent by God. Additional that this God, he have two hands and one shin and five fingers and two eyes and he looks so weird. If there is any proof that he is God, who want to help us? Anyone? He won by war? Ammar is refuting me. Ammar don't agree that he won by war. Ammar is not agreeing that Muhammad, he spread Islam by war. Ammar, are you ready to become a, my potato for today? Additional to the other potatoes? I have a dish already now. I will add you to the manual. Here we go. This is your stupid Quran. There's a chapter. It's called the chapter of victory. When the victory came, people, they enter Islam by waves, by waves. <laughs> Idiot. When the victory came, when, when the victory came, I saw people coming into Islam by waves, not one, two, tens of thousands. Do you see it? You look at them breath. 
You lost your mind long time ago. The Islam is spread by war? Huh? Are you sure? Yes, brother, I'm sure. It's in the front of you, you idiot. Even your Quran is witnessing for that. Only when victory came by sword, I saw people entering Islam by waves. And this is why when Muhammad he died, most of those people, they left, left Islam. This is why if you go right now and search, there's something called the war of apostate. Why they are apostate? They heard the news that Muhammad died. They said to themselves, okay, thank God he is gone. Potato. Anyway, look like we are out of Abdus. Again, if you want us to come back soon, post comment in the comment section because the most comment, you know, post uh, verses from the Bible, comment about what you hear, what you saw, what you heard the Muslim saying, or about the Abdul who claimed that he is going to teach us Arabic, but you don't speak a single Arabic word. Make comment, post verses from the Bible to refute them. Answer the Abdul. The more you post, the more the, the video will appear in front of many others. YouTube will, will, will make uh, what search engines does. So when we have the 20,000 view, I will be back live on air as we did today. I want to say thank you all for being here. I hope today we learn something good and something useful. And this is the purpose of what we do here. We want people to learn. And remember, maybe we shout at Muslims. But this, this is the same you shout of somebody is a fool. You are trying to save him. You say to him, the fire will eat you. And you say, no, the fire will eat you. So we shout at them, not because we hate them, but because we are trying to save them. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. Leave your comment, share the link so we can have a 20,000. And as soon we reach the 20,000 number, I will be back live on air taking more Abdul's for a snack. Thank you. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. Islam is a scam, and we prove it every day. And God is not a pimp, the pimp who provides women private parts for those who follow him. This is not God, this is Satan. It's obvious. God is holy. Pimp is not. God don't promise you endless women for sex. Where is love? There's no love. This is lust. This is just pure lust of Satan. God, he created women and man, so they can be a family. The women isn't created to be a sex toy. Neither the man. Anything will encourage something have nothing to do with building a family is a pure sexual pimp plan called Satan. And Allah is a pimp for sure. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. 